up y'all and welcome back it's coffee and you already know what the hell is up and what's good we back in the building boom and then went on instagram i asked y'all to send me some questions so i can answer them for y'all so i can get it going i feel like everybody who come off of like a social media app and then goes to youtube always does like a q a because i feel like this is where i can talk to y'all for real and like do longer videos and do everything like that so let's get into it first on the docket all right so miss chelsea Chelsea Switchball3 underscore, whatever she said. <laughs> she asked me, where do you get your confidence from? By the way, love you. By the way, I love you more. And I get my confidence strictly because I, I am proud of the person that I've become and the person that I became. And I'm not ashamed of myself. And I, I personally, my confidence comes from how much of a fuck I don't give. I don't care. I don't care if you think that I dress weird, I look weird, I act weird i don't i do care but to everybody else it seems like i don't care you get what i'm saying like when i go home sometimes i do be like oh my gosh like my feelings kind of hurt but at the end of the day bro like who who is going to be able to say something to you and it affect you without you letting it affect you that's how i get my confidence like nobody can speak on my life because don't nobody know me so boom i'm a bad bitch hey miss pretty young thing re she asks, how did you get into skating? By the way, I love you and you're so beautiful. By the way, I love you more and you're even more beautiful. Thank you for that. But I had got into skating simply because of C Money. Kari Carson, one star Kari, whatever you want to call him. Um, that was, that's was that been my bro for a minute. Me and him been cool since eighth grade. And I had seen him post on his like you know story and stuff like that of him skating and he was a me and him have a lot in common when it comes to arts dancing vibing the heck out so when I had seen him vibing out on skates and he was dancing on the skates I couldn't resist like I was like I have to skate like I have to skate like it was crazy as y'all before before Kari even like put me on to like the skate world I was already in the garage like learning how to downtown learning how to crazy leg learning learning how to do a lot of different things before I even touch the skating floor um just because of the simple fact like I love skating like I've had my own skates for a minute so yeah and I'm from Atlanta so <laughs> vibe with Kylie asked me where do you see yourself in 40 years I see myself in 40 years kind of working with the Messiah to change the world, to change how we think, how we move, how we operate. I see myself in 40 years being the Katniss Everdeen, or if not the Katniss Everdeen, the person next to Katniss Everdeen. Um, I feel like this world is eventually about to go up in flames and I'm going to be one of the people to help it because I truly see that I'm a rainbow child and I know my purpose for being here. My purpose for being here is to literally raise the vibrations to the fifth dimension. So. If you don't understand what I'm saying, keep being on my channel. I'm gonna talk about it more. But in 40 years, I see myself literally changing the entire algorithm of this earth. Belize in edits. I don't know if I said that correctly, but they asked me, do you have straight or curly hair? I don't know what I have, but I definitely do not have straight hair. Y'all just have not seen me with the, my real natural hair out because I cut my hair back in um, last year in May and then I cut it again in July. So I would say July is like really the time where I stopped cutting my hair. So my hair has been growing out since July. Um, I have really Afro-centric hair as in my hair is not defined, but it is curly. So it's a, it's a curly Afro curly fro whatever you want to call it um i have very much like three c three b three c i'm three b three c three a four a one of those i don't know specifically lol rona 1.0 asks can you do some skate tutorial videos um okay let me speak on that real quick the reason why you have not seen me do any skate tutorial videos is because i am actually in the skating world and with that being said, it's just highly disrespectful for me to be only be skating for three to four months and I'm teaching skating. And let me tell you why that's kind of disrespectful. It's disrespectful because I personally, what style I am infiltrating when y'all see me, I'm infiltrating just freestyle. Y'all are seeing me just literally vibe out on skates and do whatever comes to my head. Now, there is actual proper and specific ways to teach people um, so they can be able to learn 
the right way. I learned the right way. I learned just go to the ring, hop in, and whenever somebody wants to pick you up and go come skating with you again, they will. So that's kind of how why I don't necessarily post tutorials, but I just post me skating. But that does not mean I will not reference you to somebody I truly believe is a good genuine person and can really really teach you. Um I dance solo knows about everything in skating and he is an amazing amazing teacher he's taught me some dance moves myself so yes um that is somebody i recommend but when i get better to the point where i can be able to you know speak on certain or to be able to um teach i will q moto karate asked me am i single i am very single um i'm gonna be honest i'm really just not a girl most men can handle akila Page asks, what's your favorite crystal and you are so beautiful? My favorite crystal on earth will be Motivite. Um, I know that that sounds so generic. Okay, let me not. Motivite, Rose Quartz, and Amethyst. Citrine. And there's one more I know I really mess with. Hold on. Clear Quartz. Fine little Brie asks, I know you're bi, but do you have a preference? Yes, boys all the way men I, if you want me to be so freaking honest with y'all i'm really not even by for real i don't know what i am because i do look at some girls and be like bro you're so fine bro you're so fine but i don't want to love on you i don't want to kiss on you i don't want to touch on you i don't want i just most i really like to do with a girl is just kiss her but i don't want to date I don't know. I don't know. Because it's like, it could be that one one girl that comes by and it's like, bow, like, boom, like, she got me. But I don't vibe out with women at all. I don't vibe out with women like that. I'm a strictly dude type of girl. Like, bro, all of my friends are bros. Every person I hang out with, damn near is a dude. Because they just cooler, chiller, funnier. Maybe chilling. All right, she's so brat. What inspired your style? Myself. Myself. Nobody inspired my style. I look up to myself. What inspired my style was me wanting to be me. That's what inspired my style. I started doing things that made me feel like the baddest bitch in the world. You get what I'm saying? I started doing things that made me feel like... Um, I was just fire and I was just hit and I was everything like that. My style was really inspired by my creativity and how I feel and how I felt. When I put on a piece of clothing, my dude, the type of feeling that I wanted to have through my clothes, I will infiltrate that in how I pick my clothes. So when I would pick my clothes, I would literally be like, nah, bro, I know I'm gonna feel so fire just putting this together, putting this together, and boom, boom, boom. So I just go off of me trying to be me. That's it. Like, when I look at everybody else and how they dress, it pisses me off because it's, like, so, like, sync. Everybody dresses the same, but everybody is different people. Like, bruh, can we, like, everybody has their own unique style. It's just, we're trend followers, so a lot of people don't really take the time to be like, nah, bruh, like, let me tune it to myself and figure out what I want to wear so that I could be the flyest bitch out here. Instead, they be like, oh, I'm about to go put on those shoes, that shirt, those jeans because... That's what society says is cute. Nisei or not, Nisey, Nisei, Nisey, like underscore X. What's your favorite thing to wear? You be kidded. <laughs> Thank you. Um, my favorite thing to wear in all time of life is baggy clothes. And I love baggy ass clothes. I want my clothes to be about three times bigger. Y'all usernames are so hard, bro. <laughs> okay, school. Sklulo. Sklulo. Scolio. Ask 07 makeup routine. I don't wear makeup. I'm not saying that to be like, yeah, I'm a pretty bitch and I don't need makeup. Because if you a bad bitch with makeup, you're still a bad bitch. But I don't wear makeup simply because of the fact of when makeup started to become a thing for girls and everything like that. That's when we was in school. I'm not waking up. I'm not waking up 30 to 45 minutes earlier just to put on face. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. That shit used to piss me off. I would walk into school and I'd see a girl with a full face of makeup on at 7 o'clock in the morning. Like, I know you woke up at literally, like, 4.30 to get dressed. For what? Like, no. No. Tilly.e underscore X. How old are you and where do you see yourself in five years, okay? Um, I'm 18, baby. 
and I see myself where do I see myself in five years in five years more than likely I'm probably going to be in an accountment of movies um, I'm gonna be dropping about like my third album by then um, it's a lot of stuff that's gonna be happening in between time and the movie time so in five years just expect me to be on the same exact level of Coilere, Trippy, Uzi, Yachty, Liza Koshy, on that level. That's where I want to be. How does it feel to be the baddest bitch? Because you're the baddest bitch. It feels great to be the baddest bitch because we're the baddest bitch together. You know how I'm feeling because you're a bad bitch. Okay? We're all bad bitches. Up. Run it. All right. For all the questions that ask why am I so pretty or so beautiful, thank you. I don't know. Y'all making me blush, bro. Come on. <laughs> Shenanigans asks, why did you get kicked out of two high schools? If you want me to be so holistically honest, I was with the shit at all times. Still am. But just in a nicer way. And I pick and choose my battles way more precisely. But baby. If, if folks talking about let's fight outside at 3 o'clock, I'm outside at 2.55. Folks talking about let's pull up to the football game and try this bitch shit, I'm going to be on double nut shit. Like, I used to be the Regina George, but the vibe be cool to the side, Regina George. Like, I was the girl in high school that I was popular as fuck, but I hung with no popular people. I hung with, I hung with all lanes or... I hung with everybody that was just chilling to the side. I hung with the potheads. Um, I didn't hang out with the jocks and the cheerleaders. So I got kicked out of two high schools. My first time I got kicked out of high school was because I slapped somebody. Second time I got kicked out of high school was because I got a fight. Simple. Jada.bc said, favorite part about living in the ATL. Girl, living in the ATL, like, you have no choice but to be a bad bitch. Um, I like that living in Atlanta. Atlanta is black culture as hell. Like, we're so black. It does not make sense. We're so black. But I love it, though. We're black Hollywood. That's why I like it. It's black excellence here. Every black person moves here to perceive, to strive, to keep going, to go up. Because it's, it's, a, it's a whole good, it's a really good algorithm here in Atlanta for black people in success. It is. Um, that's why I like living in Atlanta. Another reason why I like living in Atlanta is the connections and the fun. It is so much stuff that you, it is so much stuff that you can get into in Atlanta, Georgia. My favorite part also being in this city is, is skating. It's a whole different world and I love it. Hey Janae, or hey underscore Janae. Yeah, I think I said that right. What's your favorite subject in school? Science. Give me your chemistry work, I'll run it up. Forensic science, run it up. Biology, I'm gonna run it up. There's not one, only thing that I really did not find interesting was physics, but I still passed it with you no, know, like I'm very, I literally went to class 20 times out of this semester. Passed it with no ease, okay. Next question, Drina.B said, did you manifest becoming famous? No, I didn't manifest becoming famous, but my Motivite brought me to becoming famous. You know, Motivite is for, it. Motivite is literally to speed up the process to help you reach your higher self and to basically like whatever you're supposed to, it's supposed to just put you on the right path of your life and whatever you're supposed to learn, conquer and all that stuff in life. It, it's, um, Motivite helps with that. And I personally just feel like when I started using Motivite, it literally just put me on the path that I was supposed to, that I'm supposed to go down. And that path literally was, okay, first off, this bitch is gonna be famous. So it kind of was crazy that as soon as I hopped out of high school, it was like. So these are all questions from Drina.B. What do you recommend when it comes to deciding if it's anxiety or intuition? So what I recommend is when it is your gut, when it is your intuition, it comes really way more calm. If you're thinking about something and you're getting real anxious, you're getting really heavy butterflies, you're getting this, you're getting that, it's just like a whole bunch of built up emotions and stuff like that, and that's more so anxiety. Now, your intuition, your intuition is gonna stand strong and it's gonna stand strong calmly. You just gotta be, you gotta be a little more in tune with yourself. Meditation, ask for that when you pray or when you meditate. How, ask to literally, help divide intuition and anxiety so yeah um 
Drina.B said, how do you match your jewelry? I don't. I hate matching. If you look at the style and how I dress, I all of my outfits never match completely to the T, unless it's a black outfit. Um, I believe in pulling out colors. Uh, I believe in putting colors together that you didn't even know would go. I don't, I don't like matching my jewelry. I personally believe that I shouldn't match my jewelry. All right, so I have my heart necklace. This is my icy coffee necklace. Um, I have a silver panther, and then I got my silver, but it's like a copper rose, rose quartz necklace, and then I got my gold dragon. So I layered gold and silver on me. As far as my rings, I would say, well, this is, you know, the Hitachi clan. Um, Naruto! Um, <laughs> this is that ring, and then I had this red dragon to match it, and then it's a skull. But then I threw in that blue, so. But what makes all of this go together is the baseline of the silver. So it's silver red, silver red, silver black, silver blue. And that's kind of how I matched it. I matched this hand with the greens. This is a gold jade. This is a tiger, silver tiger, silver band, and then this is also jade. And then as far as my wrist, my wrist is blue. <laughs> my wrist is blue. That's all I want. Blue wrist. It's all I want is a blue wrist, period. What does confidence mean to you? Confidence to me is how you feel about yourself. A lot of people don't understand that the way that you feel about yourself is going to reflect in a lot of different things in your life, what you do, how you go about things. It's, it's a lot. It's a lot that goes into how you feel about yourself. Confidence to me is everything. Confidence is the first thing to everything. You have to conquer confidence. You got to. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, girl. Take a, take a to the flow. How do you vibe regardless of what's going on? True to yourself. If nobody can mess with your vibe, then your vibe is going to stay your vibe, my dude. No matter what's going on, if you know in your heart, in your demeanor, in your space, and everything like that, that your vibe is wavy and it's groovy, nothing, bruh. You know how many times I have been in so many awkward predicaments, bruh, but I was just so vibed out. I'm just feeling so good. I'm feeling so wavy. I'm feeling everything to the point where it's like, bruh, this sour, this sour girl next to me with this bad energy, she can't even get through my bubble. You have to protect your energy. It's called protecting your energy. Janaya asks, when did you first start skating and what are your top three favorite rings? Okay, easy. Um, I started skating. I literally started skating professionally and holistically trying to learn like every style and the respect behind the culture and everything like that like three or four months ago. Um, my top three favorite rinks of this whole entire universe will most definitely be Skate Town, Cascade, and Sparkles. Nothing else beats them in LA. Sparkles in Smyrna, Skate Town off Old National, and Cascade. X at nine, baby. Um, Angelic Queen asks, when's your birthday? My birthday is September 12th. Alien Goddess asks, what's your big three? So my sun is a Virgo, my moon is a Sagittarius, and my rising is Aquarius. I'm literally so fired. Ah! I ain't gonna lie, that Sagittarius moon be How many piercings do you have? At this moment now, I have 25 piercings. Makai J. Blige, I guess, it just asks, what days do you skate? Every day, girl. Every day. Okay, so Miss Bella Sequira, <laughs> Sequira, I guess, asks, what's one thing you'd tell your younger self if you could? Wow, that is a beautiful question. Don't care. One thing I would tell my younger self is don't care. Don't care. Don't care what others think about you. Don't care about how others try to make you feel. Don't care. Be free. Be you. And don't care. That would be my advice. Don't care. Because I've always been told. I've, just don't care. Yeah. I would stop dimming your light to make others bright. Okay. And she also asks, have you ever snuck out? I was a sneak out queen. I literally snuck out my whole entire high school career from the second story. 
Alrighty, y'all. So that is all the questions that was asked to me. Thank y'all for everybody that sent in a question, you know, so I was able to make this video for y'all. If y'all like the video, please give it a like, comment, share, and you already know, subscribe. And boom, you already know some more videos is coming, so I don't even know why we acting like this. Because we lit and we in this thing. We in this thing like chicken wine. And that's why I'm a sing. I'm going to see y'all later. Bye. <laughs>